I didn't believe that Hurricane Katrina was headed our way. Right before the storm, we had to prepare our house, cords board the windows. It didn't really hit me that it was a category five. I mean, we evacuate and it's like, okay, we'll be back in a couple days. I had to get out, lost everything. I had to get out and relocate. And during the storm, honestly, it just seemed like any other regular hurricane. We got the majority of the hurricane it hit here. Um, but then after the storm, we had, of course, we had to dodge power lines and water and trees down and everything. And I was thinking, gosh, I wonder what happened to our house if this is what happened here. We saw a lady coming that we knew. She just kept saying, it's all gone. There's nothing there. It's all gone. This is one of the most devastating things that has ever happened in America. You know, you had a choice. You could give up or you could just do what you needed to do and try to move forward. First of all, the smell hit you. Then you got to look in and it was very muddy inside with like leaves and things tucked to the floor and to the wall and you, you know, a big thing was looking for the water line and measuring how high the water was. We got a lot of water damage. We had about five feet of water. We were one of the lucky ones. Like my house was still there. We spent our days just, you know, rummaging through what used to be our home. My brother's cat was underneath the bed, like completely buried in the black mold, and my mom picked him up and he was purring. There's a lot of debris on the beach. I mean, everything that you can't find is pretty much in the ocean. Just the little things. You would feel so victorious when you were able to get it done. But getting it done, you would have to go through maybe 20 steps where normally it would take you one. We were happy at first to get a trailer, but uh, it started taking a toll. <laughs> It's housing to myself, uh, my mom, my dad, and my brother, who is maybe like 6'2", like over 200 pounds. Neighbors were helping neighbors. We had 60 pounds of shrimp in our freezer, and the freezer got dumped over, but the shrimp was okay. I remember the day we figured out how to get the electricity on, and this was in October most probably, by the time we got power actually functioning in the building. So the healing process is a long process, but slowly everything is getting back to normal. My parents will do better as they, they move on. Um, it's, it's very stressful. Adults don't think the children really know what's going on, but the children are noticing there are big changes going around. People have a lot of uh, mental issues about Hurricane Katrina, and as they scatter about to relocate, it's imperative that the mental health profession reach out to them. We never could have done it without the assistance of volunteers and groups that have made a commitment to help. It was amazing and people were so supportive. The Church World Service money helped to get some resources so teachers could teach. And you ask, where are we now? We're still a day at a time. We need help. We need help. The whole Gulf Coast region that was hit by Katrina still need help. Don't forget us. Don't forget about us. We're still here.